This is Ben Hollifield with Yonza Labs, bringing you a quick demo of Yonza's simple data separation app for ServiceNow. Now, many of you know and love simple separation. It's been around for many years, helping organizations to segregate their data and secure access to their records. However, so much has changed since we first recorded a demo of simple separation that I wanted to record a, a new video to show you some of the latest features and capabilities in our new release of simple separation. Now, as always, simple separation is very easy to configure. You create a separation rule, you choose the table you're trying to secure, and then you select the separator field around which to secure that table. If we activate this, it's going to secure the incident table such that only users in the appropriate assignment group will see those incidents. Now, if I pop over here to the incident table, instead of the 67 records I saw before activating the rule, now I just see 15. I only see those records for which I am in the appropriate assignment group. That is traditional simple separation and very easy to accomplish. One of our new features is that you can now have multiple separator fields. If you want to separate incident tables such that users in the appropriate assignment group, but also the appropriate company or appropriate location can all see those incidents, you can select all of those fields, click save, and simple separation will adjust that query parameter appropriately to meet those needs. In addition, you can now have multiple owner overrides Owner overrides are fields that dictate or um, establish ownership of a record. For instance, a caller on an incident would be considered the owner of that incident. They need to be able to see it regardless of which assignment group it goes into. We can also now accommodate list fields, like watch list, for instance. We also still have visibility groups, things like incident management or auditor um, groups that need to be able to see all records in that table regardless of which assignment group it goes into. You can select all those configurations, click save, and simple separation will automatically adjust the query parameters for that table to accommodate all of these needs. As before, you can still selectively apply your separator field. For instance, if you have a couple of groups that you consider to be your secure groups, you can choose those and then we'll only separate out those groups and restrict access to those incidents. All other incidents will still be open as they were before. We've added a new separation type of two-way that essentially puts these groups into a bubble. It means that no one can see into their incidents and also they cannot see out into others' incidents. Um, it's a higher security model. One way is the more traditional model that you're accustomed to. In addition, we have one more cool feature that we're very excited about. Some organizations have relationships um, in their ServiceNow instance that go beyond groups and companies and locations and departments, which are what Simple Separation has historically um, been able to handle. Now, Simple Separation can accommodate relationships that may be specific to your organization or your data model. If you scroll down to the bottom of our separation rule, you'll see we have a new list called Defined Relationships where you can build those custom relationships. Business unit is a great example. Um, you may have a business unit field on your user record that you also utilize on tasks and incidents. And we can now separate around that. If you click in, what you do is give it a name and you choose the field that correlates to this defined relationship business unit. And then you have a server script that gives you access to the logged in user's record. Now, because it's a server script, you can do queries in here. You can hop through many to many tables if you need to, to build the relationship. Ultimately, you just push this relationship for this user into an array. In this case, we can pull it directly off of the user record as the business unit field. Then we save that and hop back over to our separation rule. And simple separation is smart enough to know that that business unit field is now affiliated with the defined relationship that you created. So we can save this record and simple separation will automatically um, customize the query parameters to accommodate that defined relationship. Now if I hop back over to my incident list and refresh, I'll see that it's changed again and now I'm just seeing those incidents for which I am a member of the appropriate business unit to see those incidents. And as always, you can customize query if you wanna come in and write the server script yourself, but we've made every effort possible to ensure that you can get the benefits of Simple Separation's auto code generation and our point and click interface with whatever type of data separation need you may have regardless of your instance and your particular data model. I encourage you to give Simple Separation a try. You can visit the ServiceNow store at store.servicenow.com, search for Yonza Labs or Simple Data Separation and you'll find us. You can click the try up button and then install this in your subprod instances and give it a try. See if it works for you. If you have any questions or would like to see a personal demo, feel free to reach out to us at Yonza Labs. We're always happy to help. Thanks a lot.